most humans in the winter cycle as a way to survive have rewired themselves to run the emotional body through the mental body as a way to protect themselves from pain. In a third density reality, this rewiring can be sustained. However, as you are moving into the fourth density energy, that configuration of wiring, if you will, can no longer be sustained. But you as humans are very familiar with those pathways. So how do you, in a sense, rewire to allow yourself to no longer feel emotion through the mind and instead feel it through the feeling sense? That's the quest. Okay, now we go back to School of the Nine Serpents teachings because so much rooted in that school addresses this issue. And again, we go back to school number five, which is the school of physical incarnation. There is a tool that you have that maybe you don't even see it as a tool because you're just used to carrying it around. And that tool is your body. So the body itself can become the translator or the rewirer, making up a word, the rewirer of your emotional body. What do we mean by that? Many people on your world now have a lot of aches and pains. Maybe there is arthritis or maybe there is stomach issues or maybe there is mental emotional pain like anxiety that manifests as tightness in the chest, whatever it is. Those things are ways in which your body is trying to communicate about the repressed emotion that is being held. So, the quickest way, and we don't want to say quickest way and easiest way because then the ego goes, oh good, it's quick, and maybe that means it's painless, but let's say efficient. An efficient way then to learn to rewire the emotional body so it doesn't pass through the mind is to use your body as the translation mechanism. So for instance, let's say you have a repeating anxiety that manifests as a, a, a heaviness in the chest. To rewire, you have to begin to pay attention to physical sensation not try to change it, not try to heal it, just notice it and work with it as if it is a messenger. Uh, perhaps you were taught this in the channeling class. There's the spot meditation. This is a process where you find an area on your body that is trying to be a messenger for you. Maybe it's the tight chest. You root your attention there. You pay attention to it as if it is a messenger. It's trying to tell you something. Breathe with it. Rest your attention there. And as soon as you start to begin to see what the message is that your body is giving you, that is when the rewiring of your emotional body begins. That's a very important time. But with any rewiring, you have to keep reinforcing the rewiring. You have to keep reinforcing it because emotional body has been run through the mind for how many lifetimes? How many eons? So, not that it's going to take lifetimes and eons this time because you have the energy, the momentum of integration behind you now but it will require repeated attention. It doesn't mean you have to become neurotic and focus on it all the time and all the time and all the time. Keep it in the background. Notice every time the messenger of your body is trying to tell you something and give it the space to tell you what it needs. When it tells you what it needs, it's not always a message like, you need to eat more lettuce. It doesn't necessarily manifest like that. 
Sometimes it just means I need you to pay attention. I need you to breathe. I need you to stay with me. I need you to notice me. And as you do, it starts to unwind and unravel. So hopefully this is helpful for now. We do not want you to become discouraged because your situation, like so many others, including this channel, have struggled with that issue. So do not beat yourself for it. Know that this is the time of the rewiring and the rewiring does take a little bit of work to reinforce new habits. But you have changed a lot in the last year, my dear. And we know you feel it. But you tend to push yourself too much. Now is the time for you to sit back and to begin to observe the changes that are beginning to happen and that are trying to unfold within you instead of pushing yourself to go further. We hope you heard that message, my dear.